So sometimes it isn't explicitly necessary to use one of your derivative rules like quotient rule, product rule, or something like that. Sometimes it's just really convenient. And I'm going to show you that in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. Now naturally, it would be a total pain in the butt to divide through these polynomials so that you could use the power rule on them. So just to make our lives nice and easy, we're going to use the quotient rule. So our f of x is going to be the top, 5x to the third minus 4x squared plus 3. Our g of x will be the bottom, which is x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now we can use the power rule on every single one of these terms here. So finding our f prime of x and our g prime of x is going to be really easy. So this will be 15x squared minus 8x plus 0. That's 0. g prime of x is 2x minus 3 minus 0. All right, so now we have our f, our g, our f prime, and our g prime. Time to plug and chug. g is x squared minus 3x minus 4 in parentheses times the derivative of f of x 15x squared minus 8 minus parentheses f 5x to the third minus 4x squared plus 3 times g prime 2x minus 3 this is over g squared x squared minus 3x minus 4 squared. Now you are more than welcome if you like to simplify this. If I was your teacher I wouldn't ask you to and seeing as I'm not your teacher if your teacher is asking you to simplify something like this tell him Sean from freeacademy.com said you didn't have to.